Hey, what's going on guys? Luffy Murdoch here. I'm back again with the review of chapter 125 of uh, Attack on Titan. I had to give myself a little bit of a preview there. It's a very long uh, chapter. I don't know, it just seems a lot more further along than it already is, Thomas, you know? But yeah. So, I've done a reaction earlier if you want to check that out. So, yeah. Alright. We begin the chapter off with uh, seeing, like I said in my reaction video, it looks like all the uh, Titans have uh, no heads, but they're so tall their heads above the clouds. <coughs> and even when they um, walk, they crane like it's a massive, like, gale wind of, like, smoke and stuff and dust. And mostly just walking a ton. So yeah, we get to see um, somebody, um, I don't know her name, uh, it's not Marley, no, it's an Eldian, but she um, basically just recovers somebody, goes it goes up, and then then Annie appears, so yeah, Annie was like being mischievous, but we all know that Annie is quite strong, but she um, got taken down by this, like, of the, by this lady, and yeah. It's, it's, she's too weak to transform as well. And yeah, she basically pretty much like goes up to feed the horses. Well, not she's not her personally, but she's held captive by uh, this person. And um, she reveals that she was able to hear the rambling um, through uh, diamonds, like glass, ice type thing. And so, so she heard like Armin. And everyone else speaking, and then she heard Aaron's voice destroying the world. Uh, did he say that for real? Yes, of course he did. Then we go back to the uh, massive Titans, she's being taken away by a horse. And should we find out that um, she's been trained to uh, for combat ever since she was a child? Her mother was a lover, was an Eldian. I was established in my blood, so his fa um, the father was a, a Marladian, I think, I believe that's the way it goes. And she got so strong, she managed to beat him down until he, um, like, was in a wheelchair. And then he went into a new, uh, like, a concentration camp, it's basically, or an internment camp, as I had to call it on here. And she's hoping to be reunited with him. And as all the rambling's going on, rumbling, I mean, sorry, is going on, he, uh, he bumps into, like, a load of, oh, he goes into the thing. And he gives a flashback and tries to escape, and we don't really know what happens from that point on. But yeah, and, and he's back, and she has a main objective to see her father. She basically says, like, she would do everything the same again, but she just has no more obligation. And, like, she doesn't really feel like she's worth anything. So her worth is to, like, um, serve the course of the Marladians and her father's, like, course. And has and an arm and has a goal of um, taking out, uh, well, the, oh, going after Connie. And Mikasa, like, just tries to talk to him and stuff. And she just, um, he's basically like, I don't know what to do, I'm just going to go after him. And yeah, Miska just, I don't know, Armin seems to just be wanting to justify what to do in her head. But yeah, and then, and then pretty much, yeah, Armin goes, the muffler's gone. And then we go back, we go back to Gabby, and she pretty much like, says to her friends, her name's not Mia, it's Gabby. And she prefers her friends to Mia. <laughs> That's pretty much it. From what happened, like, all the hype from last chapter, that's pretty surprising. That's the only thing that really happened. And there's Jean. And he offers them, all the Marlians, to join the Eldians. And they basically, like, decline. And, yeah, basically, pretty much, he's, uh, like, been uh, Aaron's right-hand man. So Jean's been a very trusted ally. And he shoots uh, some, I forgot his name, but he's uh, one of the dudes 
face off who was a Marlian and yeah he's pretty much dead it's not really much to say in this chapter it's more of you have to read it and he pretty much declares to Mikasa and Armin and, and the gang like yo you're free now you don't have to worry about them and then we cut to uh, see the Connie and the uh, person that is a, currently a titan I forgot what he is I'm really bad I'm really sorry but yeah he, he turns out to be a titan uh, the one is titan he doesn't know that he's basically going to be fed to the young kids or his mum so his mum could turn back into a human and then we we get to see um, all the titans got all massive titans like all titans are walking towards um, Marley after seeing the rumbling they've lost all hope in survival of old Marley army so yeah then they all um, get on top of the uh, like drawing massive titan then he turns up and she pronounces that Levi is actually in fact alive so yes very offensive uh, very offensive or very uh, revealing I always knew that they wouldn't, they wouldn't kill off Levi I don't know why the words I say he's the most badass character of the show and just the best character of the show in, in general no real revelation to me personally unless you found Levi like to be alive is to be a shock I don't blame them but I just knew it just wasn't going to happen like I don't know it would be, be one of the things where it would be like oh my god that's a bit crappy if he did actually die but yeah I was pretty confident that he was still going to be alive and he still uh, he looks like he just wants to be running over father there's like the Mali um, Malian things going to cross and like people are still alive the majority of them just want to go out and live their lives there's no massive revolt against the Eldians Gabby doesn't seem well she probably seems bothered but she just wants to have an easy life you know what I mean but she, she's just like I think they've accepted their L and trying to move on but Aaron has other plans anyway so yeah compared to other chapters this went very long but I think I've recovered up most of my uh, refraction and yeah anyway guys thank you much for watching don't forget to check out my first impressions if you want to see any other anime of this season so yeah love you all see you next time peace and don't forget to subscribe as well it's sexy